The following program is brought to you in living color. Good morning. Good morning. A little so low. Sound, I don't know what's. I'm. Uh, but we got you. I'm hearing myself back in my ear for today for some reason. Anyway, oh oh right my god! Morning. It is just after top the hour, twenty first of February. And for those that need to know, um, go on over to Amazon. Check out my birthday month shopping list. Did you make a shopping list? No, I didn't. I'm just <laughs> being a dick. Hey everyone, I am Roy Brewster. This guy right here is. I am Jimmy Shaw. It's Roy and Jimmy in the morning right here on Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitter Live. I don't even know if that's working. And statewide, nationwide, worldwide, all that good stuff. The 21st of February, we are fired up, ready to go. We're not very fired up. I got to admit, I I overslept. (laughs) Well, I I did one of the, um, I'm going to be up plenty early, which I was, uh-huh. and doing whatever I did. I'm going to go get my coffee. God, I don't have time to get coffee now for some reason. <laughs> what? How do you do that? that? That commute coming in. Well, I set my alarm, you know, like 5, 5.30, and I, I made the mistake of hitting snooze. And I woke up about, oh, half hour ago, 20, uh, half hour, 35, going, uh-oh, the hell day is it? What time is it? Get my bushy-tailed butt going. Oh, you had one of the good ones where uh, you um, forgot what day it was, in the right place, all that kind of thing. I, well, I, just, I knew, for a mo- just for a moment, not for a long time. Yeah, I, like, I oh, knew geez. it was show day. I just didn't know what time it was. I was like, uh-oh. Right. Oh, no. I mean, we do, we do the short ones on Monday now, and I'm going, man, how short is this thing going to be today? When I get there at 7.30? Yeah, exactly. 50 degrees, high of 55. We're cooling down. Little slight chances of rain here and there. 40, 50%. A little sprinkle on our dinkle. A little sprinkle on your dinkle. Get that thing. You put some dew on that thing, will you? <laughs> How was your week, Mister Mister Roy Brewster? Um, I, I don't think anything exciting happened this week. No. Um, I mean, nothing. It was all work. For heaven's sakes. You were just a busy um, boy. Yeah, we 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 wanted to go for a bike ride one day in the weekend, and it didn't happen. I don't know what happened. It got too late. We were working on things, and well, I, I like saying I like to go for a bike ride every day. First of all, I don't have a bike. You don't have a bike? No. Huh. I had one a long time ago, but then I moved. Well, when I when I first got my bike, when I relived the bike experience, okay, where I lived had the bike trails and you know uh, the paths and all these nice little you know just get around the parks and all like terra vista area there just it was easy to grab the bike and go but then i moved and not so much actually I, I, you're in a really good place where you're at right now it, well you know i don't like riding a bike on the street no not the street that you've got the trail right there. oh yeah yeah but now i don't have a bike yeah i was gonna say you've got a great little spot but then, I, uh, like I said, I, I if I move again, then I'm like, mm, I guess I to just, uh, but I do walk. I do walk every day now, so. Good for you. Yeah. I mean, come on. But yeah, I, I, once once I had to ride my bike on the street, I went, eh, uh, I, I don't trust these people. I don't trust these assholes. Yeah. Um, no, I, I get it. But yeah, you've got, you just, you hit that little Pacific left trail, trail and it's, it's just all bike riding. Yeah, well, once in a while we'll go up there when uh, Ariana wants to walk. She, I, I walk here in my uh, little neighborhood here. Good half hour, 45 of walking. Gives me like a mile, mile and a half. Mm-hmm. I, I'm fine with that. Ariana thinks it's boring, so we have to we walk to that Pacific Trail, and then we hit the Pacific Trail. I get it. So it's it. like, you know, walk plus. 
So what you're telling me is you're turning into my dad taking that walk every morning. Yeah, it's easy. Put your sneakers on, put on some headphones, and and, and start walking. But Ariana likes to walk to go walk. Right. So, which is nice, but it's, you know, I, I don't need that scenery. It's it's up one. I've been there. Okay. Here, it just hit my little neighborhood. Gives you a chance to meet the neighbors. Howdy ho. Howdy ho. Howdy ho. If you need a cup of sugar, you know where I'm at. You know where I might be. Oh, a little groggy. Ariana came in. She was in a, she went on a road trip last week and came in a little late last night. Whew. Yeah. I'm tired. God damn. God damn. Whew. All right, shaking it. <laughs> well, maybe if you were, maybe if you did more of the Pacific oh, Trail. Pacific Trail, see. Oh, I see. Well, see, I mean, one thing I don't like that Pacific Trail. Why? People get killed? No, I just think it was a waste of money. Well, but what does it mean you can't use it? I know, but I still think, I still think it's a waste of money. You, you see, you saw how elaborate it is. It's a little much. A little much. I hate, I hate seeing that, and then still hit a pothole about half a mile later. I get it. Yeah. It's a completely different. Com- Completely different fund they use for that one there. I understand. I, I, the, the bureaucracy, the red tape, the funding. I, I get it. But, uh-huh. still, but still, it's like, eh. Did we really need to go uh, that far? To make it a nice place to live for you, Timmy. I know. I know, but Roy. You, but you'd rather, ha- you'd rather have the, the pothole fixed down a fucking street. I'd rather have potholes fixed. Than, uh, uh, I get it. I, get it. Uh, I, I can understand. Uh, I mean, the bridge is nice because that's where that, that suicide run was on Foothill all that time. Uh-huh. And, but, oh, boy, it's 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 elaborate and it has plaques and, and, and it's lit up in some neon behind backlit. I was like, oh, my God. Do you and, know John got in a pretty good accident right there once? You know? Before they fixed it? Oh, yeah, when she was, like, teenager. Yeah, when you drive through, it, it was, like, half an inch away from each mirror. So she was going, I'm thinking, I'm trying to get it right. It had to be, I'm thinking. She was going, yeah, yeah. There's that, she was going eastbound uh-huh. under the deal. And um, the sun, apparently, blinded her. Right, right. Now, the best part about this story is she was babysitting for some friends or babysitting for some people okay and they had just bought at the time don't laugh because at the time it was the shit, right they just bought a brand new bronco 2. oh yeah those were the shit back then i, I was right, there i right, was there right. yeah a brand new bronco 2. and the husband told the wife do not let her drive our new car do not let Under dawn any. yes do not let Don drive your new car. Under any circumstance. Whatever happens, do not give her the right. keys. Uh, the wife gave Don the keys. <laughs> uh, you just got to love it. <laughs> just straight out and of here, take the card. I had to make the phone call saying, uh, I just wrecked. The Bronco. Oh, you're kidding. Because that's not cell phone days. Right, right, right. You know, yeah. She had to find oh, a dime. She had to, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're kidding. No, no, I uh, I am not kidding. Mm-hmm. Uh, she said that was not a good day. No, no. I, I imagine the husband, no. I, I <laughs> no. imagine the husband was super understanding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Oh, that's okay. I'm glad you gave her the car. And I'm glad everyone's okay. And I'm so happy that right. you guys wrecked my car. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how she tells that uh, uncomfortable day. Yeah, <laughs> uncomfortable day. That's the best she can do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, that's what I'm doing. I'm sure she'd have something else to say about it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, a little, little and easy. Can you imagine making a phone call? Oh God, I just wrecked your car. I mean, I felt bad do when you even do you even make the phone call? I, I mean, I felt bad when. I borrowed uh, Frida's car and came back, and the louvers were gone, and I had no idea. That the louvers are gone. Yeah. The louvers are gone. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I don't it make that, maybe you just don't ever talk to those people again. Yeah, it's like, okay, well, it, it, it was fun. I'll see you later. Where'd Don go? I don't know. Where'd the car go? It's crashed over there. Where's she at? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she, just, she just tiptoed away, left the keys in the car. That's it. I'm out. I don't know what happened. I was in the bathroom. All of a sudden, the car was gone. That wasn't me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that bump on my head? I... <laughs> Please. Oh, I was in the bathroom. You know me. Hit my head. I did do um, I did do a project like I promised. Bring it. So Wednesday I start back to work. 
So I wanted to get a, any kind of major work at my mom's done uh, house done. So I figured this this last one was going to take a couple days. Old old school garage with the overhang mm-hmm. and you park underneath it. And I just go, yeah, boy, what a waste of space. It's, it's so outdated. It, boy, you know what I would do? And my mom's with me on it. She goes, hey, let's do it. Let's do this shit. So Thursday I went over. Did the old, uh, did the old, here we go. There we go. There's the before. Uh-huh. See the old overhang right there? All the shit on yeah. top of it? It's like, okay. Yeah. That's that's how garages were back in the day. Yeah. But now, through the magic yeah. of Jimmy. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. Oh, boy. Look at that shit. Uh-huh. Took all that out of there. Shortened the shelf. Put some on the side there. Wide open spaces, baby. Uh-huh. There you go. And it does took... Does she, she still have room for all her things that were up there? Oh, yeah. That, that's all of it right there. Oh, okay. Everything you saw on that shelf right there. Oh, okay. Look at that. Uh-huh. Look at uh-huh. that. Now, before, and uh, me being me, I wanted to just get my uh, my uh, my paint gun out and just freaking wail on those walls. Uh-huh. But the problem is, there's a bunch of shit on the other walls, so you got to really take everything down. Okay. So, I might still do that. Just because. Wait. One thing, one, one, two things. I see that picture. Let's have Number one is I'm looking at it going, God, I don't remember your mom having brick on around the house there. Well, it's because Roy's a dumbass. I'm looking at our background. <laughs> yeah, I decided to make it a comedy club, too. <laughs> I'm like, dude, what, how did you do that? I, I don't remember. Oh, duh. Uh, and, yep. and, and two, uh, I see the paint. I can see where the paint went. Yeah. Uh, where you could get that done there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, knowing the, I'm look. I'm going to make up a new word, analicity of, of, of mm. Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Um, I think that 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 project would wait a little bit because you're going to have to move everything out again. Yes. And someone might end up with some drywall around the garage as well. Well, yeah. See. You, well, yeah, yeah. You well, got to hold yeah. yourself back a little bit. You're just like, okay. <laughs> All right, take it easy here, buddy. And I was just gonna paint that back wall because I got one of them, those uh, Wagner guns, you know. When uh-huh. I did the uh, when I redid that hutch, and I'm like, well, you know, I just zap that real quick. And I well, shit, if I do the one wall, then that one doesn't. Then the other ones look more like shit. Then it's like, okay, yeah, no, oh. I, get it. I get it. So I'm not saying it ain't gonna happen. I'm just saying it's gonna at some point. Okay. But uh, I mean, look at that. Look at that shit. Took all. I just took a I took a circular saw Roy and just went huh, section section off, and there you go. And you still got all your fingers. And I do. I do have all my fingers. This makes me crack up at that. For now, right at the people. right at the um, on the left of the screen, that little shelf right there with some of the tubs on it. Mm-hmm. That's part of the original one. I shortened it and then I used the wood that I cut away. To fabricate that, so old wood went with old wood, so it looked oh, like. Oh yeah, you don't want to mix wood. Well, yeah, because you don't want it to be like two brand new two by fours in the middle of everything. No. So then that that's the uh, the anal part of it. And there you go. Yeah, that anal was one. that was my pro. And uh, yeah, and bonus, I got to go. I got to go to the dump. Got to put oh, all. Oh, that's always so fun. I got Did to put all that old shit it? in the back of the truck, and I'm like, oh, truck, old shit, dump. Let's go. So question yes was the was there good mud at the dump no not this this time last time i went there was and i like good mud and it, it's fun to just kind of you know <laughs> once in a while through there last time i did that though man it took forever to get all that mud out of all the crevices especially in the wheel wells it, and shit it's <laughs> so, just like it's like adobe shit yeah it's like you can make a hut out of that kind right. of mud Right. And uh, so, uh, unfortunately, but fortunately, there was none. It was just a little dirt kickback. I was like, okay, that, that's fine. But, you know, you're in a truck. There's a little bit of mud. You just got to give a little, whoop, little womp, little boom. A little bit. I get it. Yeah. It's, Ariana's got it. She, she knows me so well. So yeah, handy. Yeah. And yes, yes, I'm anal. Because you get to that point, then you do it, and you're like, mm, you know, I should have done and then he, he, even mom jumped on board because first time I mentioned it like a year ago. We need to take this down. Oh, we need to paint that wall. She's ah. Well, just before we did it, she goes, man, that would look good. <laughs> like, okay. You know, we can spread out our projects now. 
a little bit. So, but yeah, it was it, it was fun. It was easy. Not easy, but easier than I thought. I I thought for sure I'd have to bank about two days for this at least. Well, the cool thing about that part of it is is I know there was other in it, but the there was, and this is one of my favorite things. Project mm. there was a little bit of thought, and then some cool demo. See, the, see, the demo was fun. I love yes. the demo. Um, you just cut shit up, but yeah, you have to do it thoughtfully, right? And those are the kind of projects that I do. Uh, I, I plan as much as I can, but a lot of it is as we go. So okay. I want to make that corner shelf. My brother actually came up with that idea. He goes, "You know what? Leave this here. You can put the tubs right there." I went, "Oh shit, that's brilliant." Then brilliant. I'm trying to. I'm trying to, you know, uh, do it. You know, where is the support going to be? And then mom came up with the uh, I had this weird ass up this way, 90 degree hook off the beam. And mom goes, why don't you just put a leg on it right there? I'm like, oh, OK, we, we can do that. Because <laughs> like, I get a little, you know, I get a little too too much into it. Why, why do you got to go, you know, like that? And I'm like, OK, well, we got to hang off here, go this way, 90 down. And then we'll put a double beam right here. And she goes, mm, why don't you just put a beam right here? Oh, Oh, okay. that. Yeah, and I don't get offended by that. I'm like, thank you, because my head was full of... I was already five steps more than I needed to be, and I needed someone to go, um, why don't you just turn that switch on? Oh, okay. Oh, we can do that, too. We can do that. And then the shelving, I didn't know what we were going to do with the shelves until about... We were done, and I went, all right, let's go get them. And we went. It was perfect. It worked out really good. It's amazing that we can put a car in that garage, walk around the perimeter of the car, and still know where all your shit is. Yeah. That that's the way I love garages. Um, I still got to get my shit upstairs. Your Christmas, my Christmas shit, crap, Roy Brewster. How long ago I'm was buttering it? up everything? You dang, son of a bitch, Roy. I don't know. Usually around. I don't know. I got to do it. I don't know. I got to do it. <sighs> I got I, I, I to do it. <laughs> Plus, I, I want, like I said, I, what is I start work on on uh, Wednesday, so just need to. Just needed to make sure big projects were done. That way I can pop over and do a quick one and not worry about it. You know, the worst thing I hate doing is starting a project and you can't get back to it for like four days. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, that's that's, a, that's an anal thing again. Yeah, it's just, I, I can't, I cannot tolerate it, Roy. I won't tolerate it. I cannot no, stand it. you don't have to. I, I, I so, cannot, I cannot work this way. So it makes me, it makes me project as you go, what you said. Yeah, get the project kinda, in mind. Kind of as you, yeah. And, and get, so I, visualize. And, I, you know, I like to pre-prep as much as I can, but visualize and then, because you don't know, a lot of times you don't know until you're into it. Right. And go, oh, shit, I got to change it this way. Oh, you know what would be cool? Then we can move on. So so I, I had the same kind of thing going on when Don was out of town. I shared with you. Yeah. So Don wanted a blanket rack. Right, right. So most of them, are, they're a ladder. You know, you put a ladder. I'm like, I don't think there's room for a ladder to stand up properly in that area. Gotcha. So I, I, I saw pictures and I went, well, the, that's kind of a quilt rack. And then I said, for the tall blanket, I, I, I'll go up. So you see. Right, right. So this is one of those ones in your head. You just start drawing. And you're like, well, I could do some... I can use some one inch wood dowels and then I could use how many and then I need to make a taller part and then and, and I was proud see it's right right there look at that you know, and you know as everyone knows I've known you since fifth grade I had no idea you were handy in the wood department well I got wood. I mean I know you were handy with your wood forever but well, handy as a, a a wood what do you call a woodsmith yeah, see, craftsman, if you will. No, I had I no did. clue that you can just look at two pieces of wood and go, "Oh, you know, we can make your <laughs> birdhouse." And, and this and isn't then, a finished product. Towel rack. It was when I got done. It was all routered. Oh, I had a router. Get you router routered. Stand. You're looking at something. You go, "Let's put a one inch dowel right here." No there freaking idea. There it is. Look at that. Right in the corner, just like I planned. Didn't you make like planter box or what garden boxes for her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made, made a garden box. And no idea you were a skilled craftsman in, in, in the uh, lumber department, right? Well, let's go easy on the skilled. Look, look what you did. I mean, that, some say I'm really good at my stuff, but I'm actually just working with what I got, and I wing it a lot. That That's what I got. But I, I did your routing thing, you're looking at, you, you did the pattern, and I, that's, not, that's my skill set is not there at all. 
So what I so what I did is is I wanted to curve. So I measured down just right and I put a little nail in with the with the string and then and then drew the curve. Damn. Uh-huh. And and like a protractor back in the day. Damn. Cut it out with a jigsaw. Right. And then right. put it on top of the other one. And then when I cut the holes, I did the same thing. I want to make sure in the same place. So I cut, put the exactly together the width and clamp them together. And then mark them and then drill through both at the same time. So then the, you know they're lined up. Exactly. Go, Wood Brit, it's come, and then, come on. <laughs> and, and, the, and the fact that you got that shit laying around. Oh, where's my router? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Where's my dowels? Oh, let me go get some dowels. So, you know, it's funny. I, I went over there and I, I, I went to the, the depot of the home and said, okay, I want to make this. I'm going to go buy some wood. And I'm going, well. You know, I can buy a a ten feet, ten foot piece of you know pine, no problem, and do that with. It's like thirty bucks. My I'm pine. Like, oh, I want something. I want something a little nicer. My pine. A little nicer. Okay, nicer than pine. I find. Ooh, I find some mahogany. Jesus, I don't know any of this shit. And I'm like, oh, look how pretty that is. So I grabbed that thing and I went up there. I didn't even pay attention to the cost of it. Fuck it. You just. You just. Quilt rack or uh, what'd you call it? Tell rack? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I took it. It's a, it's a quilt, quilt. It's a quilt rack slash blanket ladder. Blanket like Right, right, oh. right. So you, you just, I, you're just throwing money down that aisle over at Home Depot. Yeah. And I get to the front and they start to measure it out. Yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah. This piece is $147 for that one piece of wood. <laughs> I went, eh. one moment, please. And I give him like, you sure that's right? <laughs> yeah. Right. Because I, I didn't want him to tell fuck. No, I go look at you cheap bastard. You knew what you're getting. I'm like, I, I, I was figuring, are you sure? Maybe. Did oh, you do you the, what? did I you looked... do the hand behind the ear and the come again thing? Come, come, come uh, again. Squeeze me. Excuse me. Uh, one moment, please. I go, you know, I, I think I'm going to run it back. I, I, man, I did the math in my head wrong. Mm -hmm. I went back and threw it on there and pulled my $28 piece of pine out. Went, hey, here we go. <laughs> I felt like such a freaking jack, too. I, I, I do. I should have done what you said. Come, come again. That's like when the salesman calls you on the phone. All right, well, let me check with the wife. And, um, and <laughs> at that point, you already know it's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, ah, uh, no, see that, that like I said, that, that skill set, that, that's an admirable skill set. My brother Steve was really good with his woodworking. And the fact a lot of his wood stuff is still in that garage. He's got a workbench, so I've been using the shit out of that stuff. Oh, there you go. Yeah. T square level, carpenter it bring it, bring it. Here we go. I was looking to see if I could find I didn't I, I just realized I didn't take a picture of it done without the freaking blanket on it. Right. Come on. The, oh yeah, I did. I kinda did. Let's see. It's the Let's ultimate share. before and after. There. Uh it's not the best. But we get the idea. We're gonna share to Messenger. That's the best way for me to put it up there. I, I think so. Yeah. I, when you're putting things up, I just send it to myself. There they are. There you oh, go. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's kind of like the done part. You're also good at your your self service. <laughs> Roy. Uh, here, here, here we go. Here we go. There, there, there we go. Oh, see, pretty. See, I'll route it out and everything. <laughs> Look at that. Um, let's see if we can see the other one. Ready? Oh, there we go. See, that one's not as good. You can't really tell. Yeah, th this will be this will be my venture into uh, the wood there area here. I need there to need to make Ariana a, a better work desk she, for her office. <laughs> she needs a new desk. She does actually. We I've got her. Sh we're home office in. But uh, we're using one I used to have in my office, but it's a credenza. And she wasn't working at home as much then, but now it's been so much 24-7. She has no place to like, put her legs underneath, so she's kind of doing that side saddle work thing. But she's See, like, that's bad for your back. And Oh, yeah, she's she's a wreck. So, But I, so I have you're, you're, a, I have an idea on, on to do that. And you're going to do a, like, are you thinking about it like a little built-in thing going on there? No, no built-in, but... Um, okay, I just wondered. It's all about depth because we got the... That's also the spare room for guests, so the, the couch pulls out. Then you have this much room. You know what I mean? You don't want to rearrange the whole house to pull the bed out. So I, I do have an idea. So here, here's the thing I run into problems with. Hmm. Is 
uh, not this one turned out all right um sometimes you get done you get all the stuff you want to get and you build it you could have just went and fucking bought one for cheaper well yeah but it, like i said since uh f unfortunately we have to have a uh, custom yeah, custom I size and at that point you're like fuck come on no, i get it i get it i'm i'm thinking about we're thinking about new desk in here yeah in your room not something i'm uh, not something i will build well you got a big room what do you need a new desk for well uh, get rid of this desk oh shit. why are you gonna do that well, here's the thing. Need some more jazzercise room? Is that what you need? No, 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 no. Well, yeah. Maybe. So, no, it's, um, I need a run on my desk. Remember it used to have a run on it? What the do you run, mean? The comeback, the return. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have the return anymore. And um, That's right. That was uh, our, our setup, actually. Makes it difficult sometimes. To. So, it's just for me to work. I don't have enough room. And okay. then when I say that, Don's like, "Have you seen my desk?" And yeah, she, like, yeah. she, yeah, she, she's a uh, very space saving. She's her desk is there, and then she has a stool beside her. She'll put stuff in. I'll walk in there; it'll be shit on the floor. Right, she get stuff going everywhere, and I'm like, I don't have enough room on my desk. <laughs> yeah. So, and I'm thinking what I could do to get help that is maybe I put a. Um, I just thought of this. Maybe I put a computer mount on the wall for my screen mm -hmm. so now i have more desk space all right maybe not <laughs> it's like that ta -da thing you're just like eh? anybody <laughs> come with me who's with me <laughs> yeah what do you think what do you think I thought it was a great plan. It, oh, I know we did something. We went, um, we, we didn't get together last Tuesday, right? That's right. You had to go to work. I last minute had to go to work. Um, we went to uh, Captain Jack's. What? In, uh, What's like? La, 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 Sunset Beach for dinner on Valentine's Day. Okay. What's a Captain Jack? Oh, it's been there. They've been there since like 1965 or four, I think. Okay. Jimmy, um, are you a fan of the prime rib? Oh, please. Even if I was a vegetarian, I'd have to have a cheat day for that. Okay. Okay. Are you a fan of crab legs? I'd like them, but uh, Ariana, no, Ariana, yeah, Ariana's into those. That's one of her faves. Oh, okay. So I think that that would be kind of it, definitely an old type restaurant that been there forever mm -hmm. on right there okay um it'd be worth a run to run you know run 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 you and ari just go and run 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 up there and have yourself a i'll stroke it out man give me a break have yourself a, <laughs> uh, can a man have a stroke please <laughs> let's fucking own right <laughs> it's my time um, it's my time god damn it. i think i have been there um Years, maybe twenty-five years ago, and I forgot all about it. And uh, honestly, all I'm thinking about is that Martin Short movie from back in the day, Captain Ron, <laughs> with him and, right. and Kurt Russell. Every time you say Captain Jack, I'm like, that was a funny movie. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can, and it's like right on the canalish. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the side of it, so I'll, I'll go ahead and share that. And it's 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 an oh god, man, my. Words, Roy. All your adult uh, words. As we tell the, our little Andre, say your words. So the, here's the side, and this side's on PC8. Ooh, and look at look at Captain side. Jack's got the flat right there. Right, and it's it's old. It's been around forever. Here we go. That that that, that, that right there. Jesus is the uh, is the crab and prime rib dinner. So that that is a menu item: crab w or prime rib with crab. Yeah. Oh shit. There we go. There you go, Jimmy. There you go. There's the prime rib. God, There's the crab legs. Good to go. Look at this guy over here grubbing down. Um. Oh, oh here, here, here. Oh, Ari, what are you doing here? Yeah. See, here, here's the deal with that kind of stuff. I I don't like working for my food so much. So crab okay, legs and lobster. It's it's. I don't like having to they manipulate. I don't like fighting for my food. Well, they got it. Um, I ordered it. Cracked up pretty good. Yeah. Just boop. I ordered it. You go make it. When you bring it to me, I want to eat it. 
I don't want to bring out the Dremel. I want to bring out the power tools. I, I, and then I put a napkin and a bib on because I might fuck some shit up. I just, you know, just, just bring this shit over. I'm paying for you. I'm paying for this. Give me, let me have it. It's like the Korean, oh. those Korean barbecues where you got to put your own meat on the grill and shit. Right. I was like, oh my God, can I just eat? I just want to eat. There, there, I feel like there, I'm on there. Hell's Kitchen and Ramsey's going to come out and yell at me at a yeah, Korean you barbecue. You're a donkey. You're a donkey. There you go. Oh, baby, look at that thing. Uh huh. Right here. What? 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 I'll tell you one of my, uh, still one of my favorite places to go grab a prime rib is on Coco's on Friday night and Saturdays. <laughs> it's it's With inex- all the blue hairs? Inex- yeah, inexpensive, but oh my God, still one of the best prime ribs that I've had in my lifetime have been over at Coco's. So I got a half, I, I just got a half. I want a big one. We went to Crab Restaurant on Saturday and destroyed. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, see that, yeah. All right, you, should, you guys should go out. Here's the deal, and I'll tell you why. It's it's old, it's swanky, it's that's, that's not why, fancy. That's why she you likes. Know, it's just that's why she likes me. I know. Old, that's swanky, not fancy. And it's just, and then you, you can go out there in the day, hang out a little bit, you know, do a little walking I've, around. I've been I've been called there and, I've been oh. called Dungeness. I don't I don't know what that means, but I think that's a good way to good good word to call somebody. Have you? He was so Dungeness. <laughs> That goes right next to Spiffy. He's old. He was fancy. He was uh, wait old, swanky, not so fancy, and Dungeness. That's 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 my Jimmy right there. Same time. <laughs> you know why? Because he had all of those legs. All them legs is going all over the place. Got two legs. They're so long. It seemed like there's multiples. So yeah, that was uh, delicious. Um, so uh, here we go. On a prime rib, are you a horseradish guy or not? Oh, the more the better. Ah, boy. Creamy, creamy horseradish. I don't care. Actually, there's there's uh, been a, a pl- couple places we've been where they've had them both, and you just mix them together. John has taught oh. John taught me that. So you got uh, one of them's usually super strong. Uh, the the chunky one's actually I think the strongest one. Then you got the the mild ranch version of it. But you put them babies together. Oh, you have to. You, and it's got to be like a bloody mirror. You got to have just enough for the top of your nasals to start going. That's how much horseradish you use. Uh huh. Yeah, big old prime rib, tons of horseradish, red potatoes, little red potatoes, and just go to town on that thing. And then and still dip, still do au jus the shit out of it too. So I got I got to tell you that the, the problem was with the Captain Jacks is it'd been a while and I knew it was where it was at in the area and I go I'm just gonna look right. Um, if you look at Captain Jacks out here. Mm-hmm. You find Captain Jack's uh, marijuana dispensary. <laughs> completely different Captain, place. Captain. C- completely different place. What is that new steak place out here on Foothill? It's like Rochester. Is that Logan's Steakhouse? Mm, no. Hmm. Uh, I got to try the steakhouse. Lone Star. Uh, yeah, some shit Lone like Star. that. That new one on the Lone corner. Star. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, see... Uh, it, What's that one in Victoria Gardens? Um, Lemmings? Yeah, is that good? Yeah. See, sometimes if I find it. To... Sometimes I find that the, if that's your specialty and it's a little hoity-toity, a little high up there, then not as. It's more of an atmosphere place than a, a food place. You know what I mean? They're good. They're good. Um, I've been to Fleming's. Oh shit! Look at you. Instead of I had the best favorite. prime rib at Co- uh, Coco's. Well, uh, best prime rib. I, if Captain Jack's, I'd be up there, but. Um, between because those those like Flemings and Ruth Chris mm-hmm. and Morton's. Oh, where's that um, place that the football players go for Rose Bowl? Lowry's. Lowry's. I haven't been there. I need we we need to venture out there. And she's told me about uh, Morton's. She's and had then, Morton's up in San Francisco. Now those are like pretty big ones. My yeah. favorite, hands down. Between all of those, is Mastros. Who? Mastros. Mastros. Oh, Mastros. Yeah. Where'd that be? Uh, there is one in, um, trying to think of the closest one here, Santa Ana. And there's one on PCH down by just by the beach. And there's one Newport Beach. Um, the one in Vegas. Want to go to Vegas? Ooh. But Ma- Mastro's is my, I mean, they're, they're all over, but Mastro's is my favorite go to hands down between all those. I've been to Morgan's. Gotcha. I've been to Flint. I've been that in. It just, mm. 
Um, get me some, get me some freaking lobster mashed potatoes. Oh boy. What? Oh boy. And then if you go there, Jimmy, you got to have butter cake. Butter cake. The dessert. Oh, ooh, there. Uh, Mom's been to Lowry's. Absolutely even, delicious. Well, I even been to um, Tam O'Shanter, which is original Lowry's. Right. Um, and that was good because uh, they kind of had the Yorkshire pudding thing and stuff there mm -hmm. a little bit more. But um, yeah, let's see. Uh, Mastro's. I wish I could uh, butter cake. Um, Mastro's is good. There's one in San Francisco. Yeah. There. So there's their butter cake. And oh, there's a recipe for it. Maybe I can make it myself. Yeah, Ari says uh, Fleming's is okay, but she's partial to San Francisco. Nothing better than House of Prime Rib. Oh, see the name alone. See, and she's been in Mastro's in Frisco. See, there you go. Um, that is my favorite. That kind of high-end steakhouse. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that's just me. Matter of fact, oh, there's the butter cake. Yeah, I'm on now. Um, if you go there and you don't have butter cake, you're a communist. I think that's the rule. <laughs> I think that's the rule. Um, there it is. Warm, got a little vanilla ice cream on top, a little crunchy crisp, but not hard, soft. Mm. Oh, Tam O'Shanter is great. Yeah, we went there on accident one time. It was really good. Um, we took Kylie to a concert. We went, hey, let's look for a place. We just looked on Google and said, let's try this. Dude, we had a blast. Yeah. Except Tam O'Shanter, that place is where Walt Disney used to go. And they still have his table there with all his people used to have meetings there. We're getting history on it. Oh, wow. Okay. And that table's still there. And um, as we're sitting there eating in the middle of the room, okay, in the middle table of the room, we're not against a corner. We're not in a, we're by ourselves. You're in the middle. Room. Middle. Did, did I tell you I was in the middle? All so you were surrounded. Sitting. You were surrounded by everybody. But but I but no one was around. No one was t what I what I meant is no one could touch me where I was at. Gotcha. You you were like in the showcase table, spotlight right. on so you, there, middle of the there stage. We. There you were. Of course, I walked in the door and I said, "Oh, Mr. Brewster, oh shit, right here, right this way, right." So um, then we're sitting there, and all of a sudden I like, go like, "Whoa, what was that?" Right. Um, and look at I got goosebumps right now. Oh boy, here and we I go. Went, what the? And Don goes, "What's the matter?" I go was someone just here? And she said, no. Ooh. And I said, someone Spooky. telling you it wasn't like a wind. It wasn't like, it wasn't, someone reached out and right on my arm, look, my hair is standing straight up right now. She's <laughs> someone, as I'm sitting there, someone reached out and went like this, grab my hand and kind of went, Ooh. as I'm sitting right there in the fucking middle of the restaurant, trying to enjoy my, did you dinner? Do you think it was a headless Walt Disney, the ghost of a Walt? It didn't there? feel like Walt Disney. Didn't feel like Walt's grip, huh? I think he was one of one of Walt's bitches, and they probably thought this guy Roy. Well, he, he, he's got it going on. He got the charisma of Walt. We're gonna go hit on him. I don't care if his wife's there because I'm a ghost. She can't see me. Ooh. But reached out, grabbed my hand, and kind of did the rub and squeezed like that, and nobody was there. I I was because I was shocked that. Why is someone touching me like that? In a restaurant and in I this day and age. Now, the only thing would have been any better is if I would have looked down at the right of moment and I saw my skin dent. <laughs> you saw the inversion. <laughs> I would have shit on myself right in the restaurant. Ooh, Roy, look at you. You had a ghost of somebody. It probably wasn't anyone famous, too. It might have been a busboy or something. Well, I don't know who he was, but that son of a bitch doesn't need to touch me during my dinner. It freaked me out a little bit. Hey, I well, looked it up. Tan. He, 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 scar he scarred you. I mean, it's been a few years. Um, and I heard there might be ghosts there. Scotland's most Hano, Tam O'Shanter. Uh, I heard Tam O'Shanter. There it is. Ghost of Tam O'Shanter. Ooh, you mm -hmm. met him. You Dude, met that son of a bitch. I'm just glad he didn't, you know, didn't like, I don't know. I'm glad he didn't take my life. <laughs> take your life right there. Just, just shell of Roy sitting there. Right. Scared me. Freaked me out a little bit. But hey, didn't, didn't freak me out enough that I didn't get to finish my dinner. Oh no, I was right in the middle of those taters, man. That shit's and gone. And they were really, that was a really good prime rib there too. But they were original Lowry's back in the day. And Lowry's kind of went up, but they are still part of the Lowry's brand, Lowry's band brand. Okay. Good to but know. They don't, they don't have that name, but that's still. Well, it's been a while since we've done a, we'd usually do an LA run 
here and there for food mm-hmm. or food runs. And so obviously in the last couple of years, that's kind of went down to a minimum. So we'll need to get back into that. Yeah, just, I mean, just, well, I mean, just once in a while. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, know? you just get in a car, you look at each other, go, all right, we're going to Cantners. Boom, all the way to LA. Let's do this. Um, last time we were at Mastro's was, let's see, oh, Kylie's birthday. Right. Yeah, it was, Kylie is Dawn and myself and Kylie and her girlfriend and and her dad and his girlfriend. And we went and had a great time mm-hmm. in August until the bill came. It was $1,200. Um, Jesus. It was delicious, but I pooped it out later. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> delicious. Yeah. And it's, it's funny. I, it, it's hard to go to a fancy place out here because it's, it's still Rancher Cucamonga, Upland. But, you know, go to L.A. and hit a Tamil Shanter. There, you know what I mean? Make it a thing. Yeah, yeah. Let's go get something fancy in Cucamonga. Mm. All right. I hey, like- and if you're, going to, if you're going to the TAM, that's what us locals like to call it. <laughs> Your regulars? <laughs> yeah, you got to get there when the Plowboys are there. Oh, God, what's a Plowboy? Are they singing? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy. Are they singing? I don't even know if they're around anymore. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear any home. singing when I'm. I well, no, no, no. They're not in the restaurant part. They're in the bar part. Okay, all right. So you could partake if you want. Okay. Um, and they are. There's Plowboys. Um, uh, listen to music with. Uh, there they. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the Plowboys. You're gonna. You and the Plowboys are will what, be as one. What do, what do we have? There's Plowboys. Barbershop quartet. Um, no, 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 no. Jimmy Shaw. Gangster rap. What are we doing? There's Plowboys right there. All right. What are, what are oh. these? What are these? Uh, Scottish. So these 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 gentlemen here. What they do is they sing. They sing. Um, they, they're everywhere. See, but what they do is they sing their music, whichever it is, Scottish. I that probably the Tam right there. That's it. No. Yeah, they're the Tam. Look, there, there they are. The tam Shanter playing away. Yeah, no, I'm out. No? No, I'm not going to listen to that shit. Well, no, but here's the fun thing. Then they'll put their swing on some Oh no, that, we listen to. Yeah, no, I don't want to hear that. There they are. Look at Jimmy. Look at that good-looking group of gentlemen. Do they sing like their version of WAP? No, you know, no, no, no. No, but they might sing, If you want my body. And you think <laughs> I can't resist that. <laughs> I can't resist that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> right? You would be right there doing I can see you doing the, like that when you kind of like the Popeye, it, it, Popeye, I married an axe murderer twist. They, uh, <laughs> they would, yeah, because they would start and I go, okay, I know this song. And then when they get to the part, you want my body. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it ruined that song for me. <laughs> oh, God. Someone did one of those ruined songs for you anyway. It was, oh, my God. What was, uh, I don't know if you've seen it. Let's see if I can find it. Um, did you hear that song? That Hear it all right? Yeah, I heard it. Okay, because I know we were having, I was having a problem. No, no problem. For a while. Um, let me, let me, let me find her name is, uh, there it is. There it is. I don't know if you saw this yet, and it, it's one of those things you'll never listen to the song again the same way. Oh, Rainy. Already, already. Um, which I think is... Oh, let me stop. There it is. Boom. Boom. Okay, now we're going to share again. Share. Share. Sharing is share, caring. Share. 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 All right, we're going to try. Because last time I tried, it didn't come out right. All right. Do it. Okay, this one. Have you seen this one? You will this, never listen to this song again the same way? Nope. I don't recognize that. Go. You will never listen to this song. This- you hearing it okay? Yep. Okay. Same way again. I don't even know what the song is. You never heard that song? Uh-uh. But that's oh funny. God. But that's funny. I like it. Oh my god, you never heard that? Dun 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 dun. So that's like the um 
the uh, that uh, Celine Dion song. Yeah, I was all excited and <laughs> shit on it. I was all, I didn't shit on it. I just said I don't know. I don't recognize it. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't say that, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just fucking with you. I'm trying. I'm trying not. I'm not. I'm trying not to do that. Okay. No, you weren't. Sh- you weren't shitting today. I was just doing that. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be a good boy. No, please, no. <laughs> I'm trying, Roy. I'm trying to be a good boy. Don't yeah, make me. What about, what about, yeah, I've seen ghosts. The ghosts. The ghosts in me. And oof, they look for me, little bastards. It seems like it. Today is National Sticky Bun Day. Oh, it, 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 you need to have that. I think that was that used to be your porn name. Sticky it used bun. To be. Sticky. It used to be. <laughs> you know, what back in the day. <laughs> and today it's off, uh, obviously President's Day. And yeah, a lot of people are off today. The last time I, last one I have is National Grain Free Day, Roy. Are ready for this? Yes. The only other one I have to this hmm. is International Mother Language Day. Click on that. What, what, what's mother? You mean like a little slap on the head? A little well, no, I, I'm slap on the like mouth. It's, don't, I'm thinking like don't sass me, pop. I think it's like where you're from, so you get to speak that. Oh, that. Oh, okay. I thought you like moms. It's observed <laughs> every year to promote linguistic, linguistic, linguini, <laughs> linguistic and cultural diversity <laughs> and multilingualism. So, like where you're from, is sure. what you're going to speak. If you have a Russian origin, if you have, uh, yeah, I got you. Okay. So that that's where it comes from. Now, me being I. I would speak that you think I was speaking in tongues because I got a little bit of everyone in me. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Come my way. So in order oh, to geez. do that, you're gonna you're gonna have to one time, Jimmy, today, hmm. just bring it back to dad. You're gonna you're gonna have to tell somebody he's do not. That's a, that's pretty much every day. Oh, I didn't know you used that word though. I don't know. Inside I do. Outside yeah, of it. See, I don't think I can. The outside ones. You see, I, I, I know the words, but sometimes I, I don't have the confidence that I can pull off the. It doesn't matter. You just. The, you can say the words, but you have the, have the infliction of it. You know, you don't yeah, just I, say, you know, stu not and ha ha ha. Stu not. You, I mean, you gotta, you gotta really hit it. Yeah, and it's very syllable based. I mean, you gotta pow, pow, pow. You gotta hit them. Oh. Yeah, you got to have the the emphasis on the right syllable. It, it, exacto mundo. So I just uh, I don't think I can pull it off. Fucking <laughs> all of a sudden went Fonzie on it. <laughs> you are the Fonz, Roy. <laughs> You're a dick. Well, it's Chuggy. it is the twenty first, Roy. Oh, you know we we often wonder. We do. We often wonder how, how long it is until this shit show of the year is going to be over with. Not to say shit show, but, you know, good things can happen. It's, uh, it's 313 days. 7,528 hours until Sunday, January 1st, 2023. That's 451,689 minutes or 27,101,352 seconds. Let's wrap that up for everybody, Jimmy. That's 313 days, 16 hours, 9 minutes, and 5 seconds. Until Sunday, January 1st, 2023, where we will not have a Rose Bowl because it's Sunday. Because it's Sunday. And then everyone's going to bitch, oh my God, we we should have Monday off because it's a Rose Bowl on Sunday. Shut up! Well, I I think what they're going to do is people are going to forget that that's a tradition for all these years. Over 100 years. It's been yeah. that tradition. It just people don't keep up with that or don't remember. So when it happens right. the day of, they're like, "What the hell is this shit?" Yeah, this and, you know, shit never happened before. And you don't you don't say decades ago. You say a century ago. We've been doing this. All right, yeah. keep up. Call yourself a, a conversation. Call yourself a Rose Bowl fan. You don't know shit. Remember having a conversation with uh, Ron Moore. Remember Ron Moore from Florida Open? Yeah, yeah. Talking about Halloween one day. Said, yeah, Halloween's falling on Saturday this year. He goes, it's always on Saturday. <laughs> well, wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> what? How? What? It's always on Saturday. <laughs> always on Saturday. It's the last Saturday, the freaking last Saturday, October. Yeah, well, that's where we bring back the, par- the parentheses and we put it on a Saturday and, you know, observed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the 31st. Well, it's on Saturday. 
And the only what the only holidays that are on a, a specific day is Easter and Thanksgiving. Oh. And of course, uh, yeah, that's the only day. It's not date specific. It's day. Well, Memorial Day, Labor Day. No, no, that's the weekend of something. Oh, yeah, that's true. But it's a weekend. Right. But you have one Monday. day that's that day. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. He thought you were talking about Thanksgiving. It's always on Thursday. And then they and they start fucking with stuff like like. Um, Columbus Day. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like Wednesday. Uh, who celebrated on Monday? <laughs> you know, Columbus wasn't too important. Right, right. I think We're just going to move his day around. It's like it's like when I finally hit it big, you and I, right? Mm -hmm. They're going to go, it's like for me, it's 25th. That's birthday. They're not going to say when I'm teats up and gone and the year 3000 something or go, well, you know, Roy Brewster birthday we're gonna we're gonna deserve it on monday no 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 yeah, yeah it's my day you don't change that shit it's my day <laughs> so changing that shit around i'm not having it okay before we get out of here me and you we me you and sean we always share uh tiktok videos oh god which oh which one is this this one makes me laugh it, it's it, it's nothing crazy or anything it just made me laugh uh here we go let's have it Makes me laugh. Look at it. <laughs> Make sure you do that for they shut us down. That, that's freaking funny. Yeah, just simple, simple, simple little ones like that make me laugh. We're here at Al Green, man. It's all we're doing. Uh, I remember when we were at Wondery's, um, Bob Wondery's Ford. Mm -hmm. And the rest of them turned into the Wondery's group. Oh, okay. But Bob Wondery's Ford is one of the originals. I was going to say, this is the OG one, it sounds like. Right. So they repainted on one building and it said Wondries. And Bob was the best. Mm -hmm. Bob pulls up one day and looks at that after it's all painted nice and pretty on this big wall everyone can see and goes, <laughs> You see him staring at it? Who painted that? I don't know. Just, just painted. Well, I ain't fucking dead yet. I didn't put my name back up there somewhere. <laughs> sure enough, the next day, it said one reason right beside it said Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, didn't we just tape up a little piece of paper? <laughs> I ain't fucking dead yet. Put and my some, name back up there. Something's missing here. Um, I, I didn't approve the artwork. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, first of all, ballsy move to do that to the man's building without any, right. without even showing him the proof on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he used to do some funny stuff, that guy. I mean, come pulling into the service drive, driving his car in, two cops chasing him. Oh. Because I think he ran a stoplight or a stop sign or something. He may have he committed an, in an, an infraction here and there. Pull, pulls up his little parking place he has right there and gets out, and the cop's trying to talk to him, and he just walks inside. <laughs> <laughs> Private property. Well, I'm out of here. <laughs> you know who I am? I'm Bob. <laughs> see that little Private word right there? Says, see that wonders and that Bob right there, that little Bob? <clears throat> My favorite part about That's that me. was when the cops kind of looked at him like, this old dude ain't even paying attention. We're like, we're here. Yeah. Got here. He, he ghosted him just like you, you like a Tamil shanter. He just got ghosted. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Walk, Walk out in service right drive one day. He had his own office in old bathroom. Walk yeah. Walk out in service drive one day with a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. Someone had bought his toilet paper. And Bob was very particular about who he wiped his butt with. Okay. Bob says, the customer's in there and everything. In the service drive. Who bought this toilet paper? No, oh, baby. Shit, I don't know, right? Well, I don't know. I'm not going to wipe my ass with that thing. Go get me the stuff I like. <laughs> left it on the counter and walked off. I'll see. Okay, you love that old guy that just don't give a shit anymore. Well, right? see, uh, toilet paper uh, would be my dad. <laughs> like it, it, anything in the world, no matter how much money you don't have or do have, there will always be two-ply in the home. Two-ply in the home at all times. Yeah, good stuff. If you want you want to live? Come with me. Two ply the yeah, son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. I love shit like that. I don't know. Oh look, we were already blocked. Yeah, we didn't we didn't do anything. That Al Green thing. Yeah. It was like ten seconds, maybe. I know, I know. These guys are ridiculous. We were right? ridiculous. Oh no, it was fifty two. Never mind. It was fifty two minutes ago. What did we play fifty two minutes ago? I think they. Oh, that would have been <clears> that would have been that thing you do. Well, they, 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 the blockage works is they can block something from years ago, too. 
They, oh, put, they put their little robots and retroactively, you know, block your shit. Uh, <clears throat> oh, yeah. The old man had toilet paper in the car. Oh, I like it. Just in like case it. when, you know, off location, he still wasn't going to use that, that thinned up wafer thin shit. That right there is some planning. Not like, how about the ones they do that they use? They didn't see much anymore where they're in like a container. Mm -hmm. They're in the, they're in the uh, dispenser, not a roll. Right. And they're like, they, they remind you the little freaking wax paper shits they put under your food when you buy it. <laughs> right. Remember back in the day, you'd go to, yeah. a, you'd go to a gas station, you're like, you pull out these little bitty sheets like that. Right. And, 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 and they were, they were wax paper. Right. So you got no wipage. It just kind of like, just, just you know. slide. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You just Road go through the motions. Back in the day. Just go through the motions. Yes. <laughs> how we go. Here we go. You know, there we go. Highbrow talking about poop. That's what we do. We have to. That's how we work. Oh, look at that, Roy. Look at that. Our hour show. We'd be killing it. Just like that. Now Just like that. Coffee. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks for popping in real quick. We're back tomorrow. Sean Williams, Celebrity Birthday Games, two hour show. Brace yourself. Oh, you know what I'm looking at right now? Hmm. That thing you do. They block this one. Well, man, let's find out if they do it again. <laughs> all right. You guys have a good day. We'll see you in the morning. Peace. Love you all. Later, baby.